technical issues with BC Adewale. Some people are saying I should have a prenuptial agreement before I get married to my husband. My wedding will be taking place in the next few weeks. Please, what is your take on this? Because I've never heard about prenuptial agreement before now. Critical issues with BC Adewale. Welcome to Critical Issues with BC Adewale. It is time to learn about life and grow. But before you do that, please subscribe to our YouTube channel now and put on the notification. You need this urgently so that you can be part of these critical issues. I post videos every day to help you grow in your marriage. Now to the question of the day about prenuptial agreement. Uh, the prenuptial agreement was something that was introduced by uh, Hollywood actress and actors some years back. It's a system whereby they uh, sign a pre-wedding agreement signed by their lawyers and witnesses on how to manage the properties they acquired before they got married. For example, let's say I have 20 houses, 20 cars before my wedding. You have 10 houses, 10 cars. What happened to this property if we eventually get married and divorce? If we eventually divorce, how do we do You know, uh, there's a possibility that if people divorce, the judge, the court can give a whole lot of the property to the woman involved. So because of this, some people are thinking they are getting smarter. They have to sign all the property I, I acquired before I met you. This is what will happen to them. You may not touch them, but any property I acquire after getting wedded to you, this is how we are going to share them and everything like that. And when they wanted to divorce, it is this paper that we place before the judge. The way they share their property, will be based on their prenuptial agreement, pre-marriage agreement, pre-wedding agreement. So, <laughs> so my take on this is, as soon as you think of prenuptial agreement, you are thinking of divorce. You are thinking of divorce. Marriage should not be like that. Face your wedding. Marriage should be based on faith, on agreement. Don't go for any prenuptial agreement. I'm talking to Christian here. I'm talking about people that are righteous, people that agree the principle to marry, to marry each other based on the standard of on the scripture. If your marriage is not based on the standard of the scripture, you can do whatsoever you want. You can sign any agreement you want. But if you are a child of God and your marriage is based on the on the platter of righteousness, you don't need any prenuptial agreement whatsoever. Sit down, enjoy your marriage. Agree in God, agree in righteousness, and settle your marriage based on the principle of God. No prenuptial agreement for a child of God. Now, to help your marriage do better, please go and get our four books. The one I call Marriage Super Bondo. Marriage Super Bondo. Four books of marriage. The first one is A Desperate Need of Your Husband, A Desperate Need of Your Wife fight for that marriage and 100 percent marriage call the number on your screen immediately i will send the books to you quickly so that you can help yourself and transform your money you can read these four books and your money will remain the same again i give you 100 percent guaranteed you can make your marriage better by the time you read this book so you can also get the ebook on familiarbooks.com do it quickly now and turn your marriage around. Thank you for joining me in this video. Always remember that, man, we always have critical issues, but God always have supernatural solution. Now, you can make your marriage sweeter, stronger, better, tantalizing and more romantic by joining our 31 Days Married Makeover Bootcamp, where you're going to watch 34 uncommon videos on intimacy, finance, sex, romance and lots more that will turn your marriage around forever. 
quickly go to familiarcourses.com and start the journey of fruitful, blissful and successful marriage now. You get it at 75% discount if you get the course today.